All right, Guy Cochran here today, and we're gonna take a look at the new Mac Pro. We're gonna go inside the box and we're gonna perform a few upgrades. Apple's made it really easy to upgrade these machines. Some of the things you don't even need a screwdriver to do anymore. The bay's already in there for you to drop the drives right in, so we're gonna upgrade the hard drives. We're going to put in a little bit more memory, and we're also gonna drop in a PCI card. So we'll do three upgrades. Now to get started, we're going to open this thing up. All right, once you've opened your Mac, you're gonna notice that there's three slots. These ones right here, these are the three PCI slots. What you can do to install the PCI card is to first undo these screws here. They're right here, one and two. So just go ahead and grab onto them and turn them. We're gonna pop off the plate on the top one here by first pushing up to get it off of this groove, and then we're just going to pull it out like so. All right, we've got a SATA card here that we're going to install. So we're going to be installing it in the top slot, which is slot four. So we're just going to carefully uh, make sure that the, the grooves line up here. So we're going to begin to insert this bad boy. And I may have to get a little bit more angle here. All right, and we're just going to pop it right in there and then press a little bit firmer. All right, so the card is now properly seated and we can begin to put our little plate back on. So we'll go ahead and line up the little holes here, make sure everything looks good. And then we'll just screw this on. Now on the inside door of the Mac Pro, you're gonna find instructions that show you how to install the memory. All right, down at the bottom you have these two riser cards. These are the memory riser cards and you can just pull them straight on out. All right, so we got our riser cards and we're gonna begin to install our one gigabyte PC2 5300 sticks of RAM. You can tell that uh, these guys have these new heat sinks on them. Now, on your RAM, you may notice that some of the clips are closed. Uh, you might want to open these up first. And the way that we install the RAM is we just double check to make sure that the little tiny slot right there is lining up with the slot that is on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and drop the new RAM in and you'll notice that the little clips should slide up and we'll just make sure that they're firmly in place. So we'll go for our next one here. And again, we're just gonna make sure that the slots line up and we'll go ahead and drop this bad boy in here. So again, we're always checking to make sure that the slots that are here line up. And I'm actually on a static uh, mat here. Uh, it's recommended that you do set this up on a static plate. One of the cool things that I noticed that Apple did is when they built these riser cards, they put a little piece of plastic here so that as you're working on a desk, you're not damaging these solder marks. So we'll go ahead and load these guys up. That's what it looks like fully loaded. And the next step will be to go ahead and load the riser cards back in. Now when you're loading them back in, you're going to notice that you really need to push in until you hear them properly seat in there. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice firm push once I get it lined up. Grab on and there we go. So don't be afraid to apply a little bit of pressure. There they are, fully loaded inside, seated, ready to rock and roll. The base configuration came with one gigabyte. We just added four more, so we've got a total of five gigabytes in this machine. All right, the last thing we're gonna upgrade is the hard drive. And bay number one, you have your boot drive, and these just slide right out like this, and this is what your drive looks like that uh, came with your machine, most likely a 250 or 500 gigabyte. And they just slide in and slide out. So right here are bays two, three, and four. These might be empty if you uh, configured your, your computer to have just one boot drive. So this is what the sled looks like. What we're gonna do is we're going to attach uh, a SATA drive to one of these and then we're gonna pop it back in. All right, so we've got our sled here and we have our drive. Now on the back of the drive, you're gonna notice the connectors. These are the SATA ports and the power. So what we're gonna make sure that we do is we're gonna make sure that the number of the sled, you know, the part where you pull it out, is facing the opposite of the connectors. And we're gonna go ahead and line up the screws and begin to tighten these guys up. So we'll go ahead and line them all up. And I like to tighten them down just a little bit on each one initially. 
Just make sure that they're all going in. And then tighten them all up. Now that we've got our drive mounted in the sled, we'll just go ahead and slide it back in. Easy as pie. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching.